Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Will with TechThrow and we have another software tutorial for you today. All right guys, what's going on? This is Will with TechThrow and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Native Instruments Tractor Scratch Pro. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna give you a quick uh, and brief tutorial on how to use Tractor's beat gridding option. Uh, ultimately what it does is it lets you use sync uh, within Tractor flawlessly and to make sure there's there's no errors and you're having everything uh, right on point. All right, so first let's, uh, let's go right inside to the settings and look at a few things um, that I think actually will help you guys pretty good. Um, let's see. Just lose. All right. Uh, one of the things that I have uh, set up is the loading only into a stop deck. Uh, this will help you guys big time, uh, especially when you're all playing. Uh, I use the Tractor Control X1, and with the the two knobs on the the X1, you have the the larger loop knob and the larger uh, browse and load knob. What happens sometimes is I'm going, I'm scrolling through the the loop knob thinking it's the loop knob when it's actually the load knob and when I go to activate it um, it'll load a new track into a deck that I'm playing don't want that when you're playing out obviously it's gonna be a big buzzkill for whatever gig you're playing so what this prevents from happening is if something like that happens tractor won't let you actually load a track into the deck until the current one is stopped also the next feature right here is the stop hit playback and in a track um, I just like to do that just so it gives me more of a peace of mind that I know and see visually what's what's going on with tractor um next we'll take a look at the transport section um the two key locks what i have set up is uh high quality and normal uh, i have a core i3 so it's powerful enough to be able to handle this um, another thing is the mouse control i use snap and for q the q button on my tractor control x1 i have is instant because it's easier if you're really trying to stab and get a feel for a sound that you're trying to queue up or you know, um, do a vocal stab of an acapella or anything like that. So, all right, let's get out of here. Now, what you're gonna see here is we have two tracks. Um, what I'm gonna do is offset one of these tracks so you guys can actually hear what's gonna happen here. All right, so let's go ahead and play these. Right, as you guys can tell, these tracks are not synced and they're obviously something's wrong and something's off beat now what you guys just see me activate down here is you have a section right under your track players which you can open up now you're gonna see three little uh, gray boxes here what you want to do is go down to grid select that now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna play the track that is on beat and sync to my system and I'm gonna slowly adjust the one that's off beat until it's on point so let's go ahead and do that So what you guys just seen me do is you have grid markers right here that let you actually shift the grid that tractor is set up left and right. So this comes into play where you need to move your grids to match up the grid of a track that's actually playing on time and in sync with your system. Now this comes, uh, it's, it's super handy if you're using more of a live show also, or if you have, you know, two setups running uh, via, say, I'm using tractor and Ableton and everything's synced through a MIDI clock and you need everything to be on time, this is another good thing that you have here. Um, so, and one more quick feature here, you guys will notice is a little lock. Um, this will actually lock the BP in the track so it's uneditable, so if any type of system change happens, this will prevent it from happening. Um, and one last thing also, uh, you guys wanna check off uh, quantize and snap up here. It just, it really gives you more control of what you're doing. Um, like you can snap right to a beat and you know tractor when you hit q tractor will go to the uh, to the beat that you you're pretty much trying to cue with so which would it works really well if you're trying to do one shots or anything like that so all right um 
Thanks guys for watching. This is Will with Tech Throw, and this has been a beat gritting tutorial on Tractor Scratch Pro.